Hello there everybody, Oimon here and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Ah yes, another Monday has dawned on us once again and we are indeed back in the galaxy of the future. Hello Jagoth, welcome, you're right on time. Always happy to have you around. Let's see, now where did we leave off? We should have a whole bunch of, yeah we've got pretty much everybody's um yeah we've got everybody's like loyalty mission so that's good we do still have to pick up the justicar and the assassin those we shall probably be doing at some point today we still got overlord to do what else do we have to do in terms of other stuff stop the collectors that's about it really isn't it you got layer of the shadow broker that's dlc we'll get around to that at a later episode i think so we've still got plenty of stuff to do we've got all the little loyalty missions which is the fun stuff because i mean that effectively doubles the number of missions because it, it was one of the things i was talking about in the last episode because in the last episode i sort of mentioned how there's so many little missions and quests in this compared to like the first game because the first game basically had well i suppose eden prime and then citadel then you then you got ex free to explore the galaxy then you, so you had novaria you had pharos you had um vermeer um you had the Artemis Tau cluster, you had, uh, then you had Ilos, and then I suppose technically you had Endgame. And if you include the Citadel Lockdown, I suppose that's like 10 missions. And they were like long missions, like, you know, each mission was like uh, 40 to an hour, depending on which one you were doing. I mean, the one on Ovaria, you had to do a load of running around and talking to people at the start of it, and that takes, that takes like 20 minutes to half an hour. And then you've got to get to the research place and you've got to explore the research place. So, you know, that's a good hour. Vermeer takes a long time. So in Mass Effect 1, the missions, there were less missions, but they were bigger. And in this one, they seem to be like, well, what if we had more missions, but they were like little shorter little chunks. So they were, they were like half an hour a piece. And honestly, I think that's better because it keeps the game moving forward. It, it feels like it's got a quicker pace to it because it is supposed to be, you're supposed to be like racing against time to save the human colonies, much like you're racing against time with Saren in the first one and you're racing against time to stop the Reapers in the um, third game. So these, these games always have this sense of we've got to go quickly, even though it doesn't really matter how fast you actually move. Although it does actually matter in the third game. There are some missions that are sort of time locked, where if you don't do them within a certain period of time, they will auto fail, and that's that. That's not good. That that be no good. That be very no good. You don't want that. But on the plus side, we did get Tally back at the end of the last episode. I should feed the fish because I need to. Uh, I need yeah. I need to make sure we keep feeding the fish because that's the one thing I keep forgetting. I can't keep forgetting to feed the fish. Fish. Fish are dead. No, they're not dead. See, look, they're alive. Don't lie to me like that. My heart can't take it. They've died like twice already. <laughs> uh, you know, it does remind me of a comic. Um, I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was Awkward Zombie, but it might have been someone else where it's like you get to the end of the game I was like, hey, we did it, and there were no casualties, and Shepard's just hanging her head going, yeah, no casualties, and she just goes up to the fish tank, and she's just down on her knees with her hand pressed against the fish tank, because the fish are dead. <laughs> I, I, I want to say that was an awkward zombie comic, but I'm, it may have been someone else, I can't remember. It, it, I don't think it was VG Cats. It might have been. I'm sure someone out there will correct me at some point. Anyway, let's see, where the hell did we leave off? Where are we right now? Oh yes, this is the system where we picked Tally up. <laughs> that's fair. Whoop. All right, so that's the far rim. Okay, so we, that's 100%. That's help Jack. We could do that at some point. Uh, that, we got that. 100%, that's 100%. Help Jacob over there. 100%. 
100. Got to go to Ilium to get the Justicar and the Assassin. That will almost certainly be what we'll be doing today. Serpent Nebula's opened up a bit. The Krogan DMZ. Demilitarized Zone. Although, isn't demilitarized one word? Shouldn't it be DZ? I don't know. Um, and then you got that, and then, oh yeah, recruit, recruit rescue Dr. Ken. So that's that, that, that's the last thing we'll be doing. Uh, okay, so today's plan, let's go to Ilium. And... So we'll explore the system, first and foremost, always the first thing we do. How's my scanning stuff doing? We could do some pull- ooh, speaking of which. I was literally just about to say we could do with some palladium, and there it is. Whoop. Nope. Don't need that. Don't really need that anyway. Apparently there's very little palladium on this. Can I get rid of the crumbs off of my mouse mat, please? Thank you. I had a toasted cheese sandwich for lunch. <laughs> it was very nice. Put it under the grill, some nice melted cheese, some nice crispy toast, a bit of brown sauce for flavor. Ooh, lovely stuff. All right, we'll go there later. Apparently it's rich. You know, you'd think in a system with a planet like Ilium, there wouldn't be any planets with resources left. You'd think they'd have literally mined them all out. But apparently not. Oh, wow, oh wow, this is a good palladium planet. Let's see if we can find anything else. Need those resources. Well, we probably don't need too much in the way of resources in the future, but always a good idea to keep the numbers in check. Ooh. Donk. Nice. Ooh, another one. As well get one. Didn't quite tip it over the top. Close, but not quite. Ooh. 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 Double. Nice. Oh, so close. I think that'll probably... Oh, no, hang on. I was about to say, I think that'll probably do it, but actually, I think we still got a bit more to go yet. Ooh, okay, that's good. Okay, so we definitely don't need any Iridium or Platinum. Just the Palladium from now on. And that's a full cycle. Okay. It's down to pour anyway. Also got to keep an eye out for some Ezo. Ooh. And bulk. Nice. We get about, what, 2,000 for the really big ones? I mean, the numbers are not exact. Like I said, I'd be... I'd be really curious to have a look at, like, what programming actually works like in the background. Like... Do the probes have a certain area? Like, how how did how did they map 
the numbers onto the planets themselves? You know, was it just like wherever you hit has a certain number registered with it and you sort of roughly get around that amount? You know, like how did they decide what's what on the planet? I've always been curious about that. I've, I've talked about this before. But anyway, that should get me up to where I need to be. Excellent. Everything's over 100,000. Perfect. Oh, we do need fuel. Why do I need fuel? All right, then. Let's just explore the rest of the system. Ooh. There's bound to be a little side quest kicking around here somewhere. Nothing there. Oh, that's weird. I don't know what that's about. Aha! Uh -huh. Other side of the planet. Just waiting on the weapons at this point. They'll never know what hit them. The Vorcha are hungry for battle. Blown new scan to indicate high powered communications relay on the planet. Communications match known blood pack mercenary protocols. Concentration of Krogan and Vorcha signals are massed inside what appears to be a mining operation. Life science detective. Unknown species advise caution. Ooh. Let's see what they got. Garrus and Telly! What's she got parents wise? I quite like the black and white one, that's quite nice. Gives this sort of purple visor thing. I do like her normal look, like the, the purple and black actually is very nice. Ooh, choices, choices, choices! Have you got a preference? I'm thinking. Let's have a look at the new one. Let, let's trial the new one in one mission and then we'll see what happens. Alright. Oh, it's this level. I remember this level. Nice work. Hey, you got the band back together. Yeah, this level's kind of fun. Well, sort of. It, it's got a sort of puzzle in it, but not really. It's not a hard puzzle. Damn, what happened here? Digital workers, stop chipping away at this node. There's nothing left here to mine. Move on to the other sites now. Ooh. Hello, Fat American. Fortnite when? Uh, Fortnite never. I am never going to play Fortnite. Sorry, very much not my kind of game. Beacon. Ooh. Lasered. Yeah, so the idea is that there's this like low-lying fog. No kidding. Isn't every atmosphere toxic to you, technically, Tally? So yeah, you get this like low level fog. And there are, for the record, creatures in it. Enemy! Should probably switch over to fire. Just be slightly better on them. That goes over that way. But you can actually go exploring off the beaten track to find stuff. This area, here's the thing, this area should have been much bigger and far more maze-like. Then it would have been an actual problem to navigate in the fog. But, um, no. I mean, how long is a fortnight? <laughs> Sorry, bad Chinese English. Ha ha ha. Uh, how long, well, everybody knows how long a fortnight is. It's two weeks. Just two weeks. Um... Garrus, where are you going? Is this Planet Side 2? No. This is Mass Effect 2. 
Literally, the, the game is listed down below the video. So that takes you off out there, but we want to go exploring a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it was one of the sort of issues is like this area is not big, so it's not hard to get, you know, it's not hard to know exactly where you are. It's basically a figure of eight in terms of its general size. But that's not an issue. Ooh, more materials. Yes, please. Anything else around here? Nope. That doesn't look like it. That's where we're going. Oh, hello, Gareth. Just this figure emerges from the fog. Now we're above the fog. We should be relatively safe. Mining, I would guess. Whatever might happen here, it was recent. Mm-hmm. Tension workers fall back now. Evacuation shuttles are on the way. Anyone not at the gathering site when the shuttles arrive will be left here with those damn bugs. Looks like they bit off more than they can chew. It's not really a surprise. Is there is the data pad there? Anything else? No, just that? Well, fair enough. Big flying lizard creature. Well, big flying insect. Well, I'm not sure what it is. It's just a big flying monster. I don't think... Now, at the top of my head, I don't think you ever actually fight one of those, but they are actually turned into a creature you fight in the third game, which is pretty cool, actually. Can't get any more Vorcha from Omega. Garm has his own problems. You're going to have to man up and deal with this on your own. Maybe build a beacon path, but those damn Vorcha are just wandering off in the fog and getting lost. It wasn't them getting lost. Beacon. Nothing else around here, I don't think. Pretty sure we've got a few more critters to kill at some point. Incoming. Hmm, hello. They explode. I like when things explode. <coughs> Where are the resources? Are you mining out there or standing around waiting for those Vorture to get smarter? Dying Ilium can't keep the lights off forever. You keep stalling or we'll have a hell of a fight on the way. That would make me really really angry. Oh, there you are. So I wonder where you guys have gotten to. That's the last of them. Should be. That thing goes off in that direction. So what's up here? Oh, hello. <laughs> well, 
Well, it sucks to be them, I suppose. More platinum. Thank you. I'll take some ammo refreshes. Wish it had had a little more, but what you gonna do about it? Just follow the giant blue laser beam. I'm sure it'll be fine. So that's the data pad I'd already checked. The beacon right up there. Look, you get an overview. You can see everywhere you went. I went started over there, I went down, I went all the way around here. Talk about going the long way around. a lot and we couldn't stop the ship trust me I've tried you can't kill it <laughs> it's scripted that it gets away which is a shame but not entirely unexpected you can't do everything Looks like we're clear. all right all right so we just bypass the computer ah uh, yes Beep beep. Success. Hey, I'm the level up. Counted unclassified hostile alien species eliminated blood pack forces. That was very successful. And we leveled up too. That's nice. Okay, so we've got two points. Two. Can't remember when we only start getting one point at levels up. Do we even do we even get one point at level up? I can't honestly remember. Maybe we do. If we do, it'll probably kick in at level twenty. I feel I should start saving my upgrades for that stuff. So that's what I'll do. Does he now? Well, that's going to have to wait. I've got more important things to do. Feed the fish. Because if the elusive man wants to speak to me, that usually kickstarts a main mission. Oh, perfect. So looking detected. Being sent to Zanaban, presumably used for weapons manufacturer. Clear the bug plaque is a large scale invasion. Zanaban, huh? Hmm. I'll have to do that one later. Alright, well, I guess I can't ignore the elusive man. Duh, duh, duh. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous. We can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. 
You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Woo! Coordinate fun dead. Let's go find us a collector ship. Alright. We don't get a choice. We just have to do it once it kicks off, unfortunately. There's only one major mission we actually do get a choice in, I think. That's the next one. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Hmm. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Ooh, it's spooky. Actually, I really like this mission. Because we're about to get like a really big sort of reveal about something. I'm not going to tell you what, but I can tell you we are going to get it. It's all spooky and atmospheric. I love it. Like I said, this is a good mission. What they've done with the place. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your heart suit computer. Hmm. Let's go. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be of course. Still alive. The collectors use these containers on Horizon, but these are empty. It must have been horrible, trapped in these pods. <coughs> Completely at the mercy. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, very unpleasant. Ooh, dead bodies. Just leave a pile of bodies lying around. They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. I know you're right, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Lovely. Nice work. Just lovely. Fun stuff. It's all spooky and atmospheric. I love the slow build-up for this mission. Obviously things do eventually kick off, but... Ooh. A med kit, I'll take that. Hey look, it's a collector! Dun, dun, dun. Proteans didn't vanish. They're just 
working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd, but their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Oof. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Ooh, guns. You get to pick one. And you know what? I Stop for a second. First time I played this, that was such a good twist. Like, I totally didn't see it coming, but it made sense. Like, we know that the Reaper seemingly wiped out the Protheans, but what if they didn't? I mean, it was already established in the canon that the uh, Keepers on the Citadel were likely a species that was enslaved by the Reapers at one point, repurposed for their own needs. So there's absolutely nothing to say that the the Protheans couldn't have suffered the same fate. It's, it's such a legitimately good twist. Ah, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good one, it's a good one. I do like it. Um, okay, so we get the machine gun, we get the shotgun, or we get the widow, which is what I'm going to take, because I do like a good sniper rifle. Ba-boom! Yeah, but, uh, thank you for equipping it, but I think I'll stick with my, uh, machine gun for now, thanks. Which we don't need out yet, either. But yeah, I mean, it, it's such a legitimately good twist. It's like, oh my god, that's both very cool and also kind of horrific. And you can swap out your weapon there if you want to. Actually, let me just... One really big shot. What else have we got? Uh, shotgun, heavy rifle, material rifle. Compared to what? We got the incisor sniper rifle, and we got the mantis sniper rifle. Rate of fire is slow, effectively in armor, weak against shields and biotics. How do you stack up in comparison? it out and then swap it back mm, doesn't have quite the same punch I think I like the punch of the uh, and I'm pretty sure the other one the uh, the incisor that actually is multiple fire who the hell wants multiple fire on a uh... yeah there we go all right that's good anyway switch back to what I need it's always nice to be able to practice. Whoa. Look on the ceiling. More of those tiny pots. There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Or they were already dead. Ooh, lots of credits there. Never did get around to get him getting to William, did I? Don't worry, we'll get to there. I kind of forgot how easily you get forced into doing certain missions. This should come in handy. Ooh, damage protection. Yes, please. Um Almost as if it's suspicious. <laughs> God, I love this game. Whoa. They could take every human in the terminus systems and still not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. <clears throat> 
I mean, this this was one of the points where the game went from being, oh, this is fun and enjoyable, to being, oh, fuck, this is legitimately good. Kind of like the Vermeer scene from the first one. No kidding. <clears throat> right. Let's do the thing. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collectorship. See if you can get anything useful from the data banks. Data mining progress, Shepard. Uh oh. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. No kidding. Because it was a trap. It was a Maybe trap before the mission started. We got incoming. Why do you not have fire equipped? guys come from. Tally, did you just die? Direct intervention is necessary. Yeah, you would say that. My attacks will tear you apart. No, they won't. Missed. And she's back up. Right. Any ammo anywhere? Shepard, you must manually reestablish my link to the command console. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I like ammo first, please. Ammo. Anything there? Oh, hello. Power cells. Take them. Did no one drop any ammo? Oh yeah, someone did. Oh, apparently I'm full. When did that happen? Okay. Reconnect with the Normandy. Yeah, 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 sure. I got it, I got it. Commanding woman. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega 4 relay. I have also found the Turing distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turing emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. You knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time, 
to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. This is a bad time to become an optimist, Shepard. I think that's the wrong character. Got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Yeah, I think it's time to go. Okay, now we just gotta get the hell out of here before something bad happens. Ooh, more money, yes please. Well done. I was down there earlier. Oh, no, wait, no, that's a different section. Is that the area I was down in earlier, or is that the area I'm about to go down into? I can't remember. My memories are getting kind of fuzzy. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. What the? Branch one. Branch one. Harris, what are you doing? Honestly. Some people, what am I going to do with you? I don't know. Alright, pick up some ammo. Don't want to go running out. Supposed to be going. I have no idea. Oh, was it down? Was it down here? Yeah, actually, it might be down here. Yep, dropped and dropped. I'm opening a door on the far side of the room. Can you close it again? Oh crap! You're gonna get it. What in the? Who the fuck did you come from? No, we don't. I like this gun. All right. Oop, reload.
One would hope. We can use this. Ooh, take damage. Well spotted. You are. Really, Garrus, you're an idiot. Oh, there he goes. Anything else? Something over there, maybe? See it? Well, I thought I did. Ah, oh, crap. Gotcha. Let me switch over to the. No, it isn't. I know you feel this. Reload. Ooh, close. There we go. Ooh, I do like that gun. Oh, that's a pistol. Don't want you. That's a heavy gun. Don't want that either. Loading. All right. Did anybody drop any ammo? Need more ammo. No, apparently not. Husks. I was like this, you wish you had a grenade, but they got rid of them in this game, so you don't. Close enough. Hey, get the hell out of here. That's where I went in. Oh, look. Close, but I made it. Hey, and I leveled up again. Mission summary now with the vital intel regarding collectors and Omega 4 relay. With Shepard's escape, Harbinger knows our true capabilities. We'll have to adopt new tactics. We'll have to be careful as Harbinger's information network may rival Cerberus or Shadow Brokers. Also appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. ED's work was exceptional, however, providing value of shackled AI. Proving value. Accurate and deadly sniper rifle. Yeah, damage protection, blah, 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 blah. Lots of fun stuff. And there's the level up sound.
like ED extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your ability. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. <laughs> you could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think it was conceivable. Smug, arrogant asshole. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end. Neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. Are there options? Now, there are always options. We recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Plenigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. Hmm. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Our brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable. But I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. It can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. <laughs> they built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip to the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common. 
and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Mm-hmm. Woo. So the Reaper IFF thing. Oh, I got Renegade points. Why did I get Renegade points? I have no idea. But the Reaper IFF is the one main mission that's like it'll wait for you to actually I've gone the wrong way. It'll wait for you to do it. And I'm going to be waiting a long time before I do that. I mean a long time. Damage protection, I'll take that. Heart shields, ooh, yes please. Shepherd shields takes 20% less damage, yes please. More shielding, more shielding! I think that's a lot, yep. Nice. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, of course I have. Captain's cabin, I need to feed the fish. Oh good, they're still alive. Can we get, um, what's her name up here yet? Because that'd be really nice. Go away, you bloody siren. Ah, oh, Tally, huh? No new me- you lied to me. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my community. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. The Normandy crew delivered, including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. Damn it, I need to invite her up to the room. Uh, engineering, let's go talk to Tally. We can get her mission. As I said, fortunately no time limits at this point. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the Migrant Fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Oh dear. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get the flotilla. Mm. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. 
So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Mm. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Mm. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. Of course I'm going to help you, Tally. Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Why would I not help Tally? She's like one of the best characters. <laughs> All right. into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Still need to get her upstairs so she can feed my fish for me. Right. Where are we right now? I haven't the faintest idea. Apparently we're in the Balor system, so that's the thing. Hmm, we're in the Celestian Rift. Well, we were exploring the Crescent Nebula before. So I suppose we should probably finish off that. And things just got a little bit distracting. Yeah, because Tarith was where... What's my resources like? Still low on palladium, but not desperately so. Nope, nothing there. And nothing there either, not really a surprise. Okay. I think there might be one in this system. Eventually. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I guess not. No anomalies detected at all. No way would I have been able to make it back there in time. Nice. nothing I have 
Hang on, let me go scanning because it looked like could be wrong, but it looked like there was element zero on this planet. But there is. That is rare. Good set. That's nice. Ezo needs some of that. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, hello, Dead Eye. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Whereabouts was that? I'll take it down to 20, it means I can buy some more. Nice. Alright, land. Which one is this? Oh, yes, nice. Cinder again. Dreadline hmm. Rusher Incendiary Ammo. Tough choice. I shall go with. Let's see, we got the four points now, so that leaves two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we get two points in the next one. So even if we do get one point, so as long as we just don't leave concussive shot and armor piercing, we should be fine. Okay, so disruptor ammo. I don't use cryo ammo all that much. I mean, it's kind of useful, but not as much. Disruptor ammo and incendiary ammo are the two important ones. I'm going to buy some incendiary ammo. We get a choice. Ability evolution. Inferno ammo. Explosive charge. Spreads the ammo. Ammunition payload and potentially igniting the targets and all nearby enemies, which is nice. Or the whole squad gets it. I'm gonna to stick to my one, thanks. That's nice. Time to land. That's not the mission I thought it was. This is a different mission. Don't specifically remember this mission, but that's fine. I think it's just a few waves of enemies and then... Not much beyond that. Cargo computer. Shipping log. Cargo ship Ter Allen docked and received a large shipment of resources en route to the facility. 
the Madranic system. Trailer requested escort for the shipment claiming pirate activity along the route. Hmm. Important? Maybe. Hard to say. Ah, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Investigate Eclipse Presence. I think I will do that. I mean, I was already doing that, but I guess it's official now. Alert, we are under a mercenary attack. Escort civilians to crew quarters, then return to the work area to protect the main computer at all costs. Oh, I don't know which way we're supposed to be going right now. Hmm, the palladium. Won't say no to that. So I guess this is the way forward. It's always hard to tell. Whoa! Whoa, you missed. Anymore? There's someone somewhere. All right. Anything in the box? No, just the box. That's a shame. All right, so what else we got? We'll boot up there. I'm not sure where the hell we're heading. Yep. controls important Didn't really do much that just sort of Managed to loop back around. To, okay, I'm missing something here. Must be some option somewhere around. Oh, hang on, mainframe. Is that what I'm looking for? Maybe. All right, you, and then you. And then Ooh. 
crypt. Ah, yes, I remember this now. more? Yes. Apparently there are. Damn it, reload. There he goes. Engaging hostile. Hey, look at that. Decryption completed itself as soon as I'd finished killing all the enemies. How convenient timing is that? The answer is very convenient. This data is incomplete. Further details are required to trace Terra's location. Data will be sent to Cerberus for further analysis. Well, we got 7,500 7, credits out of it, so I guess that's nice. And that is it. That's, that's the whole section. Yes, I shall leave. Recover data referring to the Tur Allen's location, more decryption needed. Nice. Feeding the fish. I don't know why I'm even bothering, but there you go. May I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should Nothing, know? Nothing, right? Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment I to I always talk? have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about I being was, a son? But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership... Don't worry. I trust you implicitly. I don't want to see more of anything. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh, if any of the crew has important business... Isn't that the type of job? I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sense. You make sure the yes. crew is... I look for warnings. Thanks. What else would mm. you like to know? We look out for human instincts. It sounds like Cerberus. I love humanity. That's I, a very what, positive. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Yes, maybe we will. Any unread messages? Nope, nothing there. Fair enough. She still won't come up to my room and start feeding my fish. No, that's not a euphemism. Okay then. So, that's all of the planets. Head back out to the relay. There's one thing I do need to check real quick. Was there destroy blood pipe base? Yes, I thought so. And look, that's where we get the IFF. Well, we'll do that later. Garris, help Garris. Oops, I need to destroy Blood Pack Base at Shrike Abyssal. Hmm. Nope, nothing there. Nope. 
Nope. Just planets. All right, let's land. All right. Ah, yes. I knew this level would be coming up soon. I just didn't know when. No kidding. That and the fact that we're going to literally wipe out everybody on the planet. You know, that's going to help too. Hmm, palladium. <sighs> I'm sending back two of the Vorcha you sent me so that you can see what I'm dealing with out here. I suggest you not arm these morons. These piss poor shots are more likely to harass the board side of one of your generators and hit the intended target. Maybe you understand, maybe once you understand what I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for some goddamn assistance. Get ready to fight. Works for me. It's not going to work, Vorcha. I have the high ground. My vulture have gone missing. I need more if you expect us to get this work done on schedule. Don't care how you get them. Ask Garm for his extras. Yes, I have some cast offs that are good enough for mining duty. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm tired today. It's been a long week. I'm almost at the end of it. For me, anyway. the room where the mission ends I'm pretty sure I remember I do actually remember this level although I do remember it being longer so I don't entirely remember this level That's everything. All right. So, in order to complete this little mission, Let's take a closer look. must we? Is there anything to take a closer look at? Because I don't think there is. I think it's more of just a case of blow up the exploding things. Because that's what you do. If something's an exploding thing, you blow it up. I have to go. To go now. Yeah, I know. Get out of the. Okay. Success. That was it. Okay. It's a whole mission. 
Demolish, uh, demolish blood plaque weapon production facility and the Watcher soldiers along with it. Hey, heavy weapon ammo. Sure, I'll take that. Why wouldn't I? How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Nope, nothing there. All right, that's fine. Whatever. Research unlocked. Let's upgrade. Ooh, heavy weapons ammo. There we go. Buy it. Ooh, and now I get a gun, apparently. A gun that I will never use, but I'll unlock anyway, because why the hell not? Fish feeding time. All right. Now, now we can go to Ilium, I think. Actually, no, now we need to explore the rest of this place. Nope, all blank. I had a feeling that was the case. You know, I was thinking about what the elusive man said before we... Oh, sorry, after we completed that main mission. He said it was in orbit around a brown dwarf. And he said the brown dwarves were stars that didn't quite make it. But I always thought Brown Dwarf was the name of a dead core of a star after it exploded. Because the, the, you get the star, it explodes, and then you get the remnant, the core, which is known as a white dwarf. And then over trillions of years, it very, very, very slowly cools to become a Brown Dwarf. And I thought that stars that were basically hot gas giants, ones that were close to becoming stars but not quite, were referred to as hot Jupiters. I don't know, maybe the terminology changed since this game came out. It's hard to say. Alright, so we got all that stuff. Ilium, a new world to explore. And an old flame to meet. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Mm -hmm. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Mm. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? 
Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. <laughs> yeah, it's a perfectly safe system, but be careful what you sign. You mentioned trading. <laughs> what gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Slavery? That's disgusting. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Mm. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I do like that, that Liara's slight personality shift. Like in the first one, she was into information, but it was historical because she was effectively an archaeologist. Then two years pass, and now she's one of the best information brokers in the galaxy. It's such a shift, yet her character is still the same. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Oh, I'm sure I'll have a blast. Or several, indeed. Mm. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. <laughs> of course. 25. Seven. Very few Corians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who sound the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. 
What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Hmm. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Mm -hmm. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Hmm. Obviously, if you kill the Rachni Queen, then that person just isn't there. For obvious reasons. Hello. Holy crap, Shepard. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that Shepard? a lot. The moon said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. <laughs> hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Hmm. Shepard, had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Sorry, merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you the good stuff? I can try. Hopefully my uh, speech check thing is high enough. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Yay, blue marker. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. Mm. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. Mm. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? 
I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. <laughs> talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Hmm. Although she was nice enough to give me a discount, so that's nice. So what have we got? Biotic damage, bypass module, on the two upgrade. Tech damage. Ooh, medijoke capacity. Yeah, I'll buy that. This should come in handy. I'll buy that for a dollar. Tech damage, biotic damage. I'll save those for later. Don't need them specifically right now. I need minimal heat increase. And Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or a C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. <laughs> How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? scholarship program and a competitive internship turned out i was only middling at the science but i could always ferret out secrets you grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids you get good at hiding yourself helps with going undercover mm. what's up next for you research we've had some hacking attacks lately and i want to make sure they're external a lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy my bosses want to know if it's something to worry about That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Again, it ties into that mission with Tally, and it goes fucking nowhere. It's like there was this underlying current that something dark energy was like the underlying reason behind everything, and it doesn't go anywhere. It's it's annoying because it feels like it was a plot thread that was picked up in this one, but then dropped somewhere between like the finishing of Mass Effect 2 and the starting of Mass Effect 3. And it's mm, it's annoying going undercover so often it's not so bad go new places be new people the only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react like it's another cover you know deep down part of you likes fooling people that's what makes you good at it part of me yeah i grew up poor and working class now i walk around the rich and powerful taking notes getting evidence and they never see me coming <laughs> been a pleasure Gianna you too Shepard see you around I always walk off to the side <laughs> I always find that funny and again a little bit of experience and some paragon points and all that stuff so it's nice right we'll talk to Liara later arrested ah <laughs> ah yes watch yourself if you go in there some human is causing trouble he's demanding that I sign the place over to him I'll be careful or you could kill him you know legally in self-defense I'd make a really good witness failing that I'm hooking up security cameras now if he or anybody else causes trouble I'll have their asses arrested no good Bachelor party, nothing too interesting over there. And who does it happen to be? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. It's Conrad Burner. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second. Here, here's 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 the thing, I've got to explain this. See, in the first game, you could either be really nice to Conrad or you could be really horrible to Conrad. If you're really horrible to Conrad, he shows up here doing this quest. If you're really nice to Conrad he shows up here doing this quest see there was an issue with i i think it was the save file from mass effect one it erroneously flagged the renegade conclusion to the quest regardless of which direction you took it in right so even if you're nice to him it still flags as renegade complete and 
so the renegade option is the only one available here in the game there is a mod that fixes it but again i wanted to play just the pure experience this time so you know you want to see how far i'll go i learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from commander shepherd hey if you know this idiot can you rein him in before i slap his ass with a singularity shepherd is it really you it's me conrad burner we met on the citadel i wanted to become a specter oh uh and then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to Hit him. Shoot his foot. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. <laughs> don't you get it? You're a big jerk. I'm your number one you fan. You showed other races that humans matter. And then you die. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off work. <laughs> <laughs> just see sorry in the background, just face palming. So you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. <laughs> Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, extra crates. <laughs> oh, God, I love Conrad. He's he's one of those running gags that's just brilliantly set up. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? <laughs> You're a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you. Yeah, you've already said that. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dune. I need to take it over and crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapon store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Oh, Conrad. You I talk to later. I think she's the one I have to talk to in order to kick off Miranda's personal quest. Ding ding. Let's go. Whoop. Oh, did 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 it crash? Wow, it, I think it crashed. Blimey, Mass Effect Two doesn't crash that often. Okay, let's see where it drops me off. I may have to go through the thing with Conrad again. Nope. Nope, no, no. That was after the conversation with him. Excellent. Good. In that case, I literally lost no actual progress, just a bit of movement around. That was slightly annoying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
It's it is a slightly older game. It has a, it's a little unstable. Let's hope he doesn't keep doing that. It was probably a loading area because this is obviously like a loading room, so it probably just got caught up on itself because of loading. Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. That'll come in later. More people around. You I talk to later on. For now, we go up here. There's more shops to get. Coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. Weapon merchant. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. We told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh stop the red sand dealers. <laughs> I softened up the bar on it, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Woo! Thanks for the help. <laughs> oh, you're in such trouble. <laughs> discount, discount. Heavy skin we Oh, yeah, definitely buy that bad boy. We can use this. Submachine gun damage protection, yes. Assault rifle damage, yes. Amplifier plates increases power damage by 5%. That's a cheap one, I can buy that. Submachine gun damage, don't care about that yet. All blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots be deep. Ah yes, more fish. More models, because why the hell not? They're nice and cheap. Excellent. Hello. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent? Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no. <laughs> it made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. I can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the general age. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Hmm. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. <laughs> you need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? I mean, he said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't. And you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, 
I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Oh, sure. Now that I've bought everything, you give me a discount for it. Cheers. Great. Wonderful. Oh, well. It wasn't exactly expensive. It was, what, about 10,000 credits? That's not really a lot. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yes, her we'll be dealing with later as well. A few more people we can chat with around here. You I talk to later. Hello. Shepherd. I I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Theros during the Geth attack. I remember. Saren had given me to the Tholian creature as a slave. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilion for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. <laughs> I fear that after our adventure on Theros, my purpose on Ilion will seem mundane by comparison. <laughs> is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Hmm. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems do the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Again, I mean, presumably she wouldn't be here if Zeus Hope didn't have enough stuff in order to survive. Hello. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Theros signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. 
The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. <laughs> Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. Oh, wow, those two dried up quick. Give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I, I'm not. I, I didn't. Let's reduce people to emotional wrecks just so we can manipulate them. That's the good thing to do. Star charts. Good news. Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. <laughs> kind of curious where the hell she wanted to go with that you sentence. Anyway, there's a little terminal over here. Star charts for the Hazy's Nexus. Minos Wasteland. So you can buy all these things. Yes, I would. I can't remember what they do. I've heard that she lost her daughters in the Geth attack at Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. But I think they unlock new areas for you to explore. You know, new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract God, for shipping. Oh, you're looking amazing. Really you're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? All right, so let's go finish off the Conrad Werner thingamajiggy. You know, I have this vague memory that... I was literally just saying, you know, I have this vague memory that Ilium is actually a bit annoying to explore. <laughs> it crashed again. Oh, joy of joys. Good job I make regular quick saves. Um, yeah, okay.
Just gotta remember to hang on the quick save button. A lot. Especially after doing a conversation or a quest. Uh, Uh -huh. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled. I was told that you had agreed to sell. Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. <laughs> ah, I'm such a dick. <laughs> what happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. She wasn't a cop. She was a beat cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? <laughs> you did really? Job, Conrad. Now please, go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Ah, uh, Conrad. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Hmm. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now I serve. <laughs> laugh the blue off my ass. That's such a great expression. I like her character. And it is actually interesting that she brought up um, Matriarch Benezia, uh, Liara's. So I'm just using the horn on the car outside. That was weird. Um, uh, yeah, Matriarch Benezia, who is Liara's mom. It's funny that she mentioned that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why. All I will say is those two have a history. You find out about it in the third game. So just keep it in mind for about six months. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> if your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan... Didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link. Told me that they were gonna have it out. And made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. <laughs> you said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks you're sexy. Me? I go for asses. <laughs> I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen in the muck. 
Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from his father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. <laughs> What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You'll find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the red bowls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. <laughs> well, at least he's useful. So yeah, she had a Sari daughter with another Asari. Doesn't happen very often. Hmm. Gee, I wonder if that's all connected somehow. It. That's Liara's father. You only find out officially in the next game. I don't know if that was like retconned in, but based on what she was saying, it sounded like it was something that was planned. So, yeah. Nice to see that something from this game carried on to the next. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant. Yes, Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. All right. Yeah, we'll deal with you later, won't we? Oh, yeah, we'll deal with you later. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Ceres, <laughs> hold my calls. Yay! Nice to see you. She remembered. Said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. <laughs> also, that thing about have you ever faced an Asaro Asari commando unit before? was a line from that her mother gave you back on Novaria, so it's like, ooh, you know, what's going on here? You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you, well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Hmm. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you have one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. 
Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The <laughs> world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. All right, that one we'll save for later. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a serv <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a group. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Ray. All right, so that gives me access to picking up those two people. Now I need to remember. I need to remember where those hacking. Oh, for God's sake, not again! God damn it! This is actually starting to get a bit annoying now. Um. Okay, well we're gonna have to quit back out of it again. Ah! So if it, if it crashes again, what I'll do is I'll call it for today and we'll see what happens, I guess. So don't, don't, don't look, don't look. Maybe I'll be able to go out somewhere. I need minimal heat increase. And Anything at all? Anybody? Are we, we, we okay? I don't know what causes it. It's weird. I will definitely have to look into that. I need to find out where these hacking points are. Does it say on the map? Okay, path of the new tracking office. Don't remember where these hacking points are. Let's just hope it doesn't play up too much. Okay, I want to say one of them is back through here. Let's just hope for the best. Let's just hope. If it does crash again, then I'll call it for today and we'll try to pick it up tomorrow. I don't specifically remember this crashing this much. You can sell something that dangerous with ah, that's fine. And a waiver? We have the permanent system. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Gotcha. I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Ooh. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood of her in the first few generations. No, nope, not quite, not quite, not quite. Oh, and two. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. Alright, any more? Oh, another one. And we're in. That. And. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish to have. Okay. Oh, another one. We're looking for weapons. Shouldn't we be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 16 years old. I finally have my chance. 
might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Pretty sure we gotta go through here. Nope, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Sure thing. Yeah, for some reason that gives you renegade things, despite the fact that it's just Liara saying, hey, do me a favor. It gives you renegade points. Now, I'm going to look at the ground, because maybe looking at the ground won't cause whatever the hell the thing is to crash on me. Maybe. Maybe if I go really slowly. Because I think it might be a loading thing. I'm honest to God not sure. Because at first I thought, oh, maybe I can only spend like 10 minutes here before it crashes. Hello. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Mm. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Mm. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. Mm. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Mm -hmm. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Mm -hmm. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Hmm. Well, let's hope this goes okay. All right, now we've got to do more hacking. You, uh, you, and you. Hmm. That's rare. They're actually all lined up. Data point five. Vulture Trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian's becoming more trouble than he's worth. Observer recommends a kill. But she may but she may have a grudge. Ah, so the observer is a she. How are you gonna find him? And 
that one. And, oh, no, just going off the top of the screen. That's not very good. And that one. There we go. When Trader tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slaves, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Gonna be some more dotted around somewhere. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind blows. Oh, there's a get around her, please. Okay, then you and oh no, you just went off the top of the screen. Ah, you and you. Sweet. Data point four. Turian contact working well with the trader. Observer has rescind, rescinded kill order against him, given the difficulty in securing contract with the trader through other methods. So the Observer is not the Turian, so we know that. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says... All right, data point three. Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing assassin or salarian contact. So it's not the salarian either. Hmm, who could it be? Who could it be? I can't remember where the last one is. It might be in here, but then again, it might not be. Play broker. Huh. Here already, are you? Oh, there it is. I think there was only five of them, wasn't there? All right, so we got you. There we go. That's all five. Alright, data point one. Trader tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slaves, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Smuggler and assassin have refused to work the, with the Vorcha due to lack of trust. Odds to see the scruples from the men at this point. Turin's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing assassin or salarian contact. Turin contact working well with the trader. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing contact with the trader through other methods. Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Salarian. Salarian is becoming more trouble than he's worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? Batarian, Salarian, Vorcha, Turian, Krogan? Wait, but none of the suspects seem to fit. All five of the suspects are male. The Observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Ixeris. She got the information. Ixeris gave me the information. Ixeris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. Mm. If you're hurting for things to do. Anyway, hello. Welcome to Synthetic Insights. No, wait, are you not here yet? Ah, yes, you. said synthetic insights would buy me you said it was an easy sale i assume they would want an ai tech hello can i help you with something free your slave now you to let that slave go now we prefer the term indentured servant 
And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily, and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Hmm. So slavery is legal on Ilium. Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. <laughs> if slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. <laughs> Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. <laughs> I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. What a shot, I guess. Oh, it's okay. Can I help you with something? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Quarian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the Quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a Quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This Quarian had better be good, though. Yay! Slavery? <laughs> Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Hope so. Hooray! Oh, hey, level up. Level up. Two points that I cannot spend anywhere yet. Alright. Now, go back to Liara. And then, I know it's slightly early, but I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll head back to the Normandy and save. And then, I'll use the next week to look into... Uh, you know, if if there's a way to fix this, or if I've just got to find a way to bulldoze my way through it without too much of a problem. Hello. Hello. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeras had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. <laughs> What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker... I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. <laughs> Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Mm. 
Nope, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Can I get back to the Normandy from this? No, I can't. Now we gotta go back to the ship. Okay, uh, I know it. Like I said, I know it is slightly early. It's only about twenty minutes early. I just wanna get off this planet and stop the game from crashing. I feel like if I look at the floor, that helps. I don't know if it does. I just feel like it does. Twenty-five. Sell at twenty-five. No, no, no. We're not doing this. I want to buy enough. Okay. Get the hell off of this planet. I'll I'll look into it between episodes because we don't really have time for another full mission to start now anyway uh so we'll go back we'll end the episode a little bit early but not too much turn to the normandy yeah 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 yeah. we don't need to see the leaving apparently we do need to see the leaving um so hopefully i can find either a bug fix or a way to not have the problem maybe we got none of messages. Nope, nothing new there. How may I help you? That'll be all. Take care. All right, fair enough. Research, research, research. All right, what we got? Assault rifle accuracy. Yes, please. Definitely take that, bad boy. Heavy muscle weave. What's that do? Shepherd's melee attacks are more powerful. Ooh. Yes, please. Anything else? Nope. Excellent. Feed the fish. Because I've got more of them now. And I really don't want them to die. <gasps> so many fish. Feed those fish. Feed them. Right, so we'll head back to the normal spot, we will save, and then we'll end it here. Like I said, I know it's slightly early, but I need to look into this. I really need to look into this, like, properly. So we'll see what happens. So, squad, I've got two points to spend, that'll come in later. Let's mark all that as viewed, thank you. And then, let's mark all that as viewed, thank you. And then, I think we can just make a quick save and leave it there. Like I said, hopefully I can find a solution to that problem. Um, if not, we'll just have to hope for the best. I'll try to wipe everything from Ilium quickly and get it out of the way if that is the case. Um, so we'll see what happens on that particular front. So thank you for watching, everybody. Sorry for ending it slightly early, but like I said, I think this is a bug I need to look into to fix, to solve. And it's only, it's barely a quarter of an hour early. So it's not a big issue. It's not a big problem. We'll be fine. Thank you all for watching, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed this. And I will see you all whenever I next see you. Take care out there, everybody. Bye-bye.